with Poundworm closing, they were selling off their stuff at the local shop and I bought a few items. I bought uh, the cob based LED lamp that runs directly at 240 and I've already covered that in the video. But I also bought other things like just uh, flippant things like this uh, little set of uh, LED lights that has the tester button, the sort of try me button that when you press the button in the front, it's got little lithium cells inside here. Might take a look at that later on. Uh, and it's caught the uh, battery pack, the double A's. And when you actually buy this, you can unplug the remote battery, the test battery, and then it just operates as an ordinary string of LED lights. And I've just suddenly thought of something. The sound guys use a lot of double A batteries in the wireless microphones in the show, and they typically use one set for a show, so they, they won't uh, try and push the luck of the batteries because for obvious reasons that losing audio in the middle of a show from a microphone is not a good thing. It's much uh, more cost effective to use batteries for a short period of time and then change them. <coughs> but the video, this video, is about this. Now, I've looked at two of these before. The first one of these I bought from Poundland. It was great. It was really interesting. It was basically a little camping light. And it comes with a carabiner, not really suitable for dangling off cliffs with. But uh, inside this is a classic little three AAA cell holder. Nice if it was double A, I always say that, but yeah, the triple A, it's fine. And it's got the centre stud for presumably the positive, and the outer stud for the negative. Is that the case? Yes, it is. It's folding round. So in this, it's got the uh, metal strips that weave backwards and forwards to, so you get the positive in the middle and the negative in the outside, and all the cells are in series. And this basically plugs into the end of the uh, light to actually power it. Uh, I don't think in this instance, some of these uh, you can put an 18650 in, but I don't think that would work in this instance because it requires the two separate connections and it has no connection point at this end. But uh, if I uh, screw that back on there and we take a look at the other end, these things uh, have a simple momentary action switch. It feels a bit sticky actually, it's not ideal. And the first one of these I opened from Poundland had a one watt LED. I think it had a complete uh, circuit board in here, a round one. And it had a one watt LED and it was really nice design. It had the typical little blob chip, chip, chip on board, COB, that uh, there's very little circuitry. You've got the positive and negative from the battery, uh, it goes to this chip, and then you've got a couple of wires coming to the little switch that's down the side here, uh, and then you get the LED, and they've really stripped it back. I took another one apart a while ago that was very similar to this one. And the one slight thing, I would show you this later, I don't have any triple A's at all, I don't have any batteries here. The one slight thing that is in the favour of this one is that uh, they have used a sort of straw hat LED, the 4.8mm LED but it's actually got a very very large cup and it's designed to be run at higher power than average so I'm guessing that might be designed to run 50 100 milliamps but the current limiting factor will be the battery voltage and the on state resistance of the little transistor in here under the blob which usually cuts uh, limits the current. It's a sort of a uh, same type of chip that's used in uh, the bicycle lights. So one of the connections, the one in the centre, is just this little copper strip that's been soldered onto a pad. And then there's another metal strip in the back here that's been folded round. I think it's been put through and just folded double. And it goes over to the power connection on here. The switch itself is quite odd. It's the standard little tactile switch but very narrow I'm a bit annoyed actually I was hoping it was going to be the one when I saw it with the pins out either side because uh, my pick kit hold on here's my pick kit it uses a similar switch and it's actually playing up it's giving problems hold on I'm going to get my spudger here and pop my pick kit open And uh, it's, I use this when I'm programming chips, I tend to, oh actually I'm talking crap, why did I think that was a, why did I think that was a narrow switch? That's odd. I am perplexed. For some reason I thought that was a, a narrow, a low, pro oh you know what it is? It is, it's a, it's a standard tactile switch but it's just got two pins, it's not the four pin version. Uh, and that is actually playing up in my pick kit when I'm programming microcontrollers and I press that button to program them uh, the switch, you have to jiggle it to actually get it to make contact I'll have to see if I can find one of those but it's quite an odd switch 
Uh, that kind of means I'm not bothered about the fact this is not the same style of switch. I thought it was this uh, single sort of narrow switch, but with the wires coming off the end, but it isn't. But this one is the wires coming off the sides and going onto these connections. And then uh, that's just pushed in by a slightly clumsy uh, little switch at the side, which feels that it, doesn't, it seems to jam a wee bit when you press it. You have to sort of jiggle it. Um, the case is nice. The case in all these units is nice in the battery holder. This is kind of rubberized plastic. I don't know if the I don't know if the rubber will come off. I think it did in the previous one. No, it's glued on tight. Uh, but it feels very sort of firm and rubbery. It's quite solid, and the case is nice, and the dome is also nice. It's not too um, opaque. It actually lets through quite a lot of light. But it makes me think, you know, this would be quite a good base for an alternative, a custom built light with two mounting holes, the battery connections, and then the battery holder. Um, so it's got its uses, but um, as standard it comes with the cold white LED, that's pretty common with these things. So uh, it's neat enough, it's very typical of this design and unfortunately this particular style is not going to be available for very much longer because uh, Pound World, that's not Pound Land, it's Pound World, is closing all its branches at the moment and selling off its stock. But, uh, but interesting nonetheless, well worth taking a look at.